everybody and welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. So today we're going to do Sphinx Art and mix in a bit of resin. I'm going to put some of this away. I've got cup B here with 30ml and cup A with 30ml because the resin that I'm using is a one to one ratio. So if you put one mil of this in, you've got to put one mil of that in. So I put 30 in each because we're going to be making this and seeing if it's big enough for my flexi hand. Just for me to use for now and then after that I'll use it as a palette or something like that. So I'm going to put this away because I know that I've got cup A there. And then I've got the hardener which I've also got 30 mil of and I'm putting that there. So I'm just going to put this back in the box so it's just out of my way. And I've left them separately just so we can make sure we've got everything that we want and that we are happy. Because once you mix these together, that's when it, you know, makes a difference. So I'll just mix these together um, once, we've, once I've told you what I'm using. So I've got a bunch of glitters here. So I've got these ones, the holographic tinsel. Um, I've got some neon hearts. And then I've got this one, which is called Yo Yo Yo. Some black tinsel, and maybe this one, which is called Fruit Punch. Because I like pink, you know. It may just use these three, but I was thinking a bit of black just for some contrast, and maybe a few of these just to brighten it up even though it is winter but hey ho i'm not going to go outside just to get more glitters that are winter colors or could i just use something a bit darker no i'm not a dark person i'm not a dark person so we've got those um i'm not sure i might add a bit of ink to it or i might just do that another time and just stay simple just do glitter Think that's what we're going to do today just do something quite simple and maybe just do the glitter so i'm just going to take these off so i have a 10 percent off code for charlie's nail art so it's um pumpkin 10 so you can get the glitter from there and it does work if you've not seen my unboxing and my reveal of my first one these are charlie's nail art glitters and this was my first palette what i made for my flexi finger and I'm waiting, watch it turn up tomorrow. Now I'm waiting on a big square one for this, but I thought this would work for now until I get time to make the big square one. And then I'll just use this for something, or maybe, I don't know, give it to a friend or something. But I'll probably find some use for it, maybe some paints or something like that. So we're going to just mix these together now. kind of do this and make sure you get it all out doesn't matter what order you mix them in like you know which one you pour in but making sure we get everything out of here because it has to be the same ratio so I'm just making sure we've got it all Okay, just do one last scrape. I 
think that's okay. I'm just going to pop that there. I'm just going to zoom us in a little. I'm doing this at night, so it might be a bit darker than usual. I'm just going to bring my light a bit closer. And you're just going to mix this until it looks clear, because look, can you see it's gone cloudy now? Can you see that? You have to sort of mix this until it looks pretty clear. I did 60ml because I did 40ml for that little one and it was just about enough. So I did 60ml for this. If there's any more I might use it for a smaller mould that I've got. If there's any left over. So yeah, you just have to keep mixing this until it looks relatively clear. It might take a few minutes. I've also got that heat gun which I'll use um, to make sure the bubbles are out of the resin palette. You need some more muscles for this, I tell you. Bit repetitive, but you have to do it. It's, and it's good to make sure you scrape in all the bottom and everything and just make sure you've got it all out of here. Because if this is not mixed properly, it probably won't set. And it has to be relatively warm in your house. It is in mine, but I'll put this in an airing cupboard once it starts to set. And I'll put a little box over it. So once it starts to look like clearer, ignore the bubbles. So I'll probably just give this another couple of minutes stirring. making sure you've got this right. I have um, thought about ordering some silicone moulds. Um, these are reusable, you can get the resin out of them. But I'm just thinking some silicone ones and I can just sort of demould what's in there and wash them out and reuse them and be a bit more eco-friendly, I guess. So I think that looks okay. That's sort of how... I did it yesterday and we'll just give it another last whisk just to make sure just to make sure I think that's, that's going to be okay Here's the fun part. Glitter time. Okay. I'm going to use some finer glitters in this one. Right, not as heavy. And I definitely wanted it holographic. Or something holographic in it. feel like a wizard <laughs> or you know like a little witch making up her little glitter potions I don't think I'm adding too much of that because I'm going to add some other colours Ooh, that does look pretty actually a bit of pink in that hollow so I might add a bit more we'll see I'm going to add a bit of Tinsel, not much again, just a little bit. And then a bit of the black. I'm not sure I'm going to add the hearts to be honest. We'll see, I might add a sprinkle of them there. Probably gonna look cute anyway. That's what it's looking like. I think, don't think I should have added the black. But we've done it now, so this is what we have. 
Put it off the gun. I'm going to add a touch more of this one. Okay. And then a touch more of this, and I think that's it. I don't think I'm going to add anything else. Let's go for it. We'll add a couple. Why not? Why not? Just be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to add too many. So that's what we've got, it looks okay, that's what we have, oh, uh, maybe I should add something a bit more chunky, or a bit more glitter, I don't know. Give it a more dusting of pink, some of these. Watch me overspill these in. Always add more. If all fails, I hope this sets now. I might add a drop of this ink into it. Not much, just a drop. I think that's enough. Hope this doesn't ruin it. I'm going to tint it slightly. I'm going to pour it in now. I'm going for it. I'm going in, guys. I'm going in. Let's go for it now. Let's move this out. Okay, here it goes. I hope this is enough. not quite enough but it'll be, it'll be enough I think for what I want it for. what we've got. So it looks okay. 
So we've got that. So I think that looks alright. Don't it? I think so. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm being decisive. I'm not adding anything else to it. I'm going to take these gloves off. Get my heat gone. Which is this. So we're getting this out now. Just make sure it's turned off when you're doing this. not too hot probably gonna have to learn to do and um, get my glitters out first <laughs> put them on something with no gloves on yeah never mind that's what I've done now so. yep So yeah, we're just going to leave this now on a flat surface and I'm going to put a box over it. So I'm going to leave those. So, take this stick out. And just throw that away. I'm just going to pop the bag over these and just let them dry because I can clean them out so I'm just letting these dry with a little bag over their heads I'm just going to throw these sticks away I can buy some more it's fun so yeah I'm going to just leave this now as it is and not interfere too much I actually think I could have gone to 40 mil in each but I wasn't sure it's measurements I guess you're just going to get used to it you know you're just gonna find out what works and what doesn't so that's all i can really say um i think for a mold this size 40 mils of each hardener and resin in um one to one ratio would have worked fine but i'm not mixing up more resin i'll just have to have a slightly thinner one which is fine by me or I could always clear cap it tomorrow, like add another, you know, 10 mil over it and clear cap it. So I could do that, I guess. So I'm going to let this set now. Come back tomorrow morning. We'll, de we'll have a decide whether we're going to clear cap it. If we clear cap in it, we'll just leave it in the mould and pour some more resin over the top if we wanted it to be a bit thicker or I could just leave it a thin one because it's not my permanent one anyway and it's only going to be for pigments and stuff so yeah so that is it then oh and the ink that I added in was just this um, alcohol ink for resins which is this kit just here I will play with this a lot more but I just want to watch a few videos on how you use them 
Jo from Just Jo Nail Addict kindly sent me some details on how to do that. But I'm going to watch some more on it and probably wait to get my, my mould that I actually want to use on my um, flexi hand. And then probably decide to play with some inks then and have a bit more confidence in myself. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to leave it at that and then pop a box over this, leave it to partially set and then put it in my own cupboard tonight. And I'll come back tomorrow and show it you to the end of the video. So I hope this has helped. Um, if you're going to give this a go, tag me in it. Um, and yeah, I recommend it. It's worth, definitely worth a try. It doesn't smell, so this particular one doesn't smell anyway. Um, and I found it quite easy to use and set, so yeah, I found it a lot of fun. Push these hearts in to the resin. Some of them was just like floating on the top of it. So I'm going to make sure they're underneath this time, on my last one anyway. So I'm just making sure everything is under it. There isn't, just push them under now before it sets. Okay, just make sure they're all pushed down before it starts setting. Just make sure they're all covered, otherwise they'll feel a little rough and you don't really want that. It happened a little bit on my other one and I didn't really like it that much so I'm just making sure Everything is sealed under it. There's a few still floating around on the top. So I'm just making sure they've gone under. Because you don't want them on the top of your resin, your glitters. So yeah, just make sure everything is under it, just make sure, because it will level, so you don't need to worry too much. And I'm just using this old uh, cuticle pusher and just scraping it off on some paper. So that's it, I'm going to leave this now, stop fiddling. Put my box over it, I'm going to get it out of the oven cupboard and leave this for probably till I go to bed and then I'll come back in a bit and put it in the oven cupboard just so it stays nice and warm for tonight because that seemed to work for me before so I'm doing the same thing again um, and yeah and that is it so I'll be back tomorrow <laughs> fingers crossed that I haven't made a fool of myself I will show you regardless if it sets or if it's bendy, whatever it is, I'm going to show you because, well, you know, we all make mistakes, don't we? And it's good to know that if I have messed up, what I did, I guess, and what I could have done differently. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I mean about the glitters being on the top. It's here, like on this bit, just there. They're on the top. I don't know if it's focusing. I don't want to go too low down. Like it's here. They're on there and they should be nice and sealed in. Like this side. But that's my first one. So I'm going to go. I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, and yeah, let me know if you're going to give this a go. Bye. Okay, so... It's thoroughly cured everyone. Let's take it out. And it's thoroughly set. So this is the underside. Because I again I've used heavier glitters. I had a word with Joe last night and um I tried to mix this up a bit more um when it was in the airing cupboard before it started to thoroughly set and it thickened up a little bit. So I have got some glitters like suspended through the centre of this as well 
but the heavier stuff has all sunk to the bottom but I don't mind that and then with the ink that I put in here it has tinted it and given it a pretty look either side so yeah but it still has got a few bits here I did push some of it back in but as it started to set just a couple of little bits here so what I think I'm going to do is put this back in the mould and when I mix up some more I'm just going to give this like a clear like a cap with the clear and um, yeah just clear cap it a little bit so it's a little bit thicker not much more thicker um, and this one is going to be used for this for my flexi hand stand hopefully if it will stay on it so that looks like it's going to be all right but I'm going to wait a couple of days before I put a suction on this because I think I got a bit carried away with this and popped the suction thing on it straight away and what it's done is it's give me a little dint in here it's not a problem I'll still use this for my flexi finger but it feels like it's more set now and it, that's how it's set because um, I literally took it out of the airing cupboard at 16 hours which it may have felt cured but it might not have been thoroughly I've put this on and I've created a suction and it's cured pulled up I don't think it's going to be a problem I'll still be able to use it but I've created that by probably not waiting like maybe a couple of days or something just to make sure it's thoroughly set um, and then what I might do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this back into here in the right place where it's going to fit I'm going to pop it back in where it should be Is that it? I'm going to pop it back in where it should be here and then when I do my next one I'm going to just add a clear layer onto here just to make it a little bit thicker and just to cover up these these few bits of glitter that just came to the surface everything else is sealed around here where I push some of it back underneath but there's a tiny little bit here so I'm going to leave it a couple of days, um, I'll post some pictures on Instagram but I'm just going to post this video now but I'm not going to make the same mistake of when it's just cured and um, putting the flexi hand straight on it because it's it's raised it up a little bit there because I don't think I waited long enough so yeah I think that was my fault so yeah I can still use it for that but I've made a huge error so I'm going to wait for this one so yeah so that is it guys that's what it looks like underneath look how gorgeous that is <gasps> let's just have a look shall we look how gorgeous that is now can you see the glitters and the suspended a bit in the middle and the pink ink has really made it look so pretty that gorgeous right you could use it either way couldn't you which side's your favorite the one where it's packed with glitter or the one where you can see the glitter through the pink which one do you think looks prettiest so that's it for now I did buy this one for the flexi hand so I think this is the one I'm actually going to use this one but until I get round to doing this this will be the standard for it hopefully hopefully anyway but that's what I bought that one for so yeah this feels like thoroughly yeah this feels like it's thoroughly cured now I just think I got a bit too hasty and put the um, stand on it straight away but never mind eh but by putting the ink in as well I think it's made it quite cute like this one is clear this one has got that clear effect to it and with the pink ink I think it really made it pretty Oh yeah, these are my first resin items. I can say the resin that I'm using is really good. The inks didn't affect it. Charlie's nail art glitters seem to work really well and the smiley's ones. So yeah, so that is it guys. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you're going to give this a go. Um, and yeah, I think I'm looking to make a Christmas one, like a Christmas palette to give away I think. Um, 
so yeah I'm just going to look to get some ideas on what I can do maybe make a Christmas one um, that I can give away to you guys let me know if you'd like to win something like this if you think you want to win it <laughs> let me know um, and yeah so if I get enough interest in a prize like this then I'll definitely make one so that is it thanks for watching everybody take care stay happy stay safe wherever you are because we're in England at the moment and we're back in lockdown so yeah I don't know what it's like for everybody else but just stay safe everybody stay well stay happy um, and that is it and thanks for subscribing to me I'm only 45 away from 2,000 subscribers so if you're not subscribing you're watching me please subscribe because once I hit 2,000 I'm gonna be doing like a weekly giveaway over Christmas towards the end of November and right into Christmas all different prizes and they'll start once I hit the 2,000 subscriber mark so to get us there faster and get these prizes out there please subscribe because I think some of you are watching that are not subscribed um, and I would appreciate it um, and yeah and that is it so I'm gonna go now bye